view wired and wireless NIC information. Uh, one PC with Windows uh, required resources. Uh, one PC with Windows with two NICs, wired and wireless. At the start of this lab, the wired Ethernet NIC in the PC was cabled to one of the integrated switch ports on a wireless router and the local area connection wired was enabled. The wireless NIC was disabled initially. If the wired and wireless NICs are both enabled, the PC will receive two different IP addresses and the wireless NIC will take precedence. Identify and work with PC NICs. Use the network and sharing center. Okay, go to control panel, network and internet, network and sharing center. Change adapter settings. In the network connections window, the results provide a list of NICs available on this PC. Look for your Wi-Fi adapters. This is my Wi-Fi adapter. This is my Ethernet adapter. Virtual private network VPN adapters and other types of network connections may also be displayed in this window. Okay, another uh, adapters also displayed on this window. Work with your wireless NIC. Locate the wireless network connection. If it is disabled, right click and select enable to activate your wireless NIC. Okay, for example, disable and you need to enable the adapter. Enable. Right. If the wireless network connection is not currently connected, right click and select connect disconnect to connect to an SSID that you are authorized to connect to. Uh, connect, disconnect, and connect um, to a network, a wireless network. Now it's connected. Right click a wireless network connection, then click status. Wi Fi and uh, status. What is the service set identifier SSID for the wireless router of your connection? Okay, here SSID, in my case this, this is. What is the speed of your wireless connection? In my case, 300 megabits per second. Click detail to display the network connection details and go to details. What is the MAC address of your wireless NIC? Here, a physical address. Do you have multiple IPv4 DNS servers listed? If so, what would you multiple DNS servers be listed? Okay, here uh, DNS servers, in my case, three DNS servers. The 
Multiple DNS servers are listed in case the first DNS server becomes unresponsive. Reasons may include the server is down for maintenance or is experiencing a problem. The first DNS server does not respond, then the second DNS server is used, and so on. Uh, IP config hall on command prompt. Okay, go, go command prompt and IP config hall. Notice that the information displayed here is the same information that was displayed in the network connection details window. Okay, the IP before address and wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi IP before address the same uh, value. Okay, one dot fifty one the the default gateway one dot one and three DNS servers. Okay, three DNS servers the default gateway. Click wireless properties. Wireless properties. Security tab. Security tab. Show characters checkbox to display the actual network security key. Close. Close. Okay, now disable the uh, connect disconnect um, option. And you can see here the uh, pop up window should appear at the bottom right corner of your desktop that displays your current connections. Okay, along with a list of SSIDs that are in the range of the wireless NIC of your PC. If a scroll bar appears on the right side of this window, you can use it to display additional SSIDs. Okay, this is my current connection. And you can uh, use the scroll bar to display additional SSIDs. Work with your wired NIC. Okay, this is my wired uh, go to status. You must have an Ethernet cable attaching your PC NIC to a switch or similar device to see the status. Many wireless routers uh, have a small four port Ethernet switch built in. You can connect to one of the ports using a straight through Ethernet patch cable. Go to details. Okay, and review the information to compare the information on command prompt. This is my Ethernet adapter. Ethernet. This is the IPv4 address. Subnet mask, the full gateway, and DNS servers. IP before address, subnet mask, the full gateway, and DNS servers. The same values. Identify and use the system try network icons. Use the network icon. Click the system try. 
Click the network icon to view the pop-up window that displays the SSIDs that are in range of your wireless NIC. Go ahead now here, uh, expand this and click here the icon. Okay, these are the available SSIDs. And click here network and internet and Go to Change Adapter Options, Ethernet, right click on Wi Fi, Adapter, uh, right click and disable this adapter. Now, disable it. Examine your system tray, click the network icon again. Okay, click here. Um, wireless networks are no longer in range and not available for wireless connections. Identify the network problem icon. In the network connections window, disable all the Wi Fi and Ethernet adapters. Okay, Wi Fi disabled. Also, on Ethernet, disable. The system tray now displays the network disable icon. Okay, look at this new icon on red, not connected. Okay, click on the icon and go to network and internet. Troubleshoot. If troubleshooting did not enable one of your NICs, then you should do this manually to restore the network connectivity of your PC. Okay, cancel this and then enable manually. Enable again Ethernet and Wi Fi adapters. Click on the network icon and you can see the available SSIDs. Okay. What would you activate more than one NIC on a PC? Multiple NICs can be used if more than one path is needed for the PC. One example of this would be if the PC is being used as a proxy server.